So let's set the lanes here for you in this 800 freestyle, this fastest heat. In lane one, that's Shanoa Devine, swimming unattached from Davis Arden. Lane two, Catherine Duggan from Highlander Aquatic Club is in lane number two. Lindsey Stone is in lane three from PAC Swim Team. Isabella Rangioni is the fastest seed from Nation's Capital in lane four. Kendall Brent in lane number five from Swim Florida. Six is Joy Field from Magnolia Aquatic Club. Seven is Megan Burns, Nation's Capital. And rounding out the field from City of Mobile Swimming is Paige Madden. Sixteen links of the pool for these ladies. On the blocks, ready to race. Let's see how this all shakes out. So the last time the 800 freestyle was contested at the NCSA Junior Nationals was in 2012. And back then, someone who was pretty much not extremely well known would go on to win by a very, very large margin. That young lady was named Katie Ledecky. Eight months later, she, or sorry, five months later, she would go on to win the Olympic gold medal in the 800 freestyle. And then become a living legend in distance freestyle. And now her world record stands at 811.00, which she did last summer in Texas. And it's just absolutely impressive to see these ladies stepping up their game as Ledecky also steps up her game her own game. These ladies are know they have a lot of work to do to catch her. Rangioni and Burns from Nations Capital. I believe Rangioni trains with Ledecky. I'm not sure if Burns does as well, but even if she does, I'm sure she feels the effects of having Ledecky also wearing the Nations Capital cap. And it's Burns already with the lead. Burns has been taking the lead on a lot of these distance freestyle events here. And Ron Gioni has been the person who has come from behind, doing even splits, almost, almost negative splitting. Nice, even smooth stroke there for Megan Burns, breathing on both sides. Checking out her competition, making sure she knows where she is at all points. Lane three, Lindsey Stone. Trying to move up to break away from the pack. This is only the 200 meter mark. We got 600 meters left. Anything can happen, and Lindsey Stone takes the lead, 208.62. Watch for Rangioni splits at the 400. We'll keep track to see if she ends up even splitting. And Megan Burns is trying to pull away and take the lead again. She does at 250 meters. Got 300 meters completed now. Megan Burns, a little more than seven tenths, about seven tenths of a lead over Lindsey Stone. Isabella Rangioni hanging in third, but you can see she's starting to pick things up a little bit. Megan Burns, the only one that's been holding under 32 seconds, that's why she's been able to pull away here.
And now her lead is a full second with a 32-8 on that 50. And no one else is going under 33. And Rangioni is starting to build here. She's been posting 33 lows the whole time. 33-0, I believe. Almost consistently, too. So now it's a 1-2 for Nation's Capital. Megan Burns still leading 420-49. 421-86 for Rangioni. Burns is still attacking this. Back under 32 seconds, 33 seconds. She was 33-0 on that uh, 50 after the 300, or 400, sorry. Kendall Brenton, lane number five. Look at her trying to keep with Isabella Rangioni. I'm sure Rangioni knows that Burns is out there. Rangioni's doing her best to try to keep up. Possibly run her down, but Megan Burns. Now we got Kendall Brent now under 33 seconds, 32.92. Ron Gioni still in that 33.0, 33.1 range. And Megan Burns, who, as I said, was going out fast in a lot of these races in the mile earlier on Tuesday. And then the um, 400 freestyle on Wednesday went out fast, but Rangioni caught her. Now Burns is swimming tough. Actually, her tempo is increasing now. And nobody looks like they're going to catch her. She's got a two biting link lead, and it's actually Kendall Brennan, lane number five, who's pulling away for second. Rangioni is falling to third. And this is the 600 meter mark. 632.02 for Megan Burns. Kendall Brent under 33 seconds, the only one. So she's tipping away at the lead, but again, she's only going about two tenths faster. And I don't know if she only goes two tenths faster, if that'll be enough to catch Megan Burns. Megan Burns now coming up to 150 meters left. And look at Kendall Brent just turning over the arms. She hasn't put much into her kick. It's about a two beat kick. Sometimes she goes into a four beat, but it's mostly a two beat kick. It allows her to get the high turnover. Megan Burns, 737-454. She's back under 33 seconds. Kendall Brent still out splitting her by two tenths of a second, though. But again, as I said, two tenths is not going to be enough to catch Megan. Megan comes in with a C time and lifetime best 849.09. And she's going to do much better than that. And she might get a couple more of these ladies under the 850 barrier to make the Olympic trials cut. Kendall Brent comes in with a lifetime best 843.21. Looks like she's on pace to do that as well. Actually, she might fall just a little bit off it. And Megan Burns here rolling into the finish. And she will win the 800 freestyle. 841, 85, a major lifetime best for her by eight, almost eight seconds.
Seven seconds. 844-94 for Kendall Brent to finish second. And then Isabella Rangioni, 846-40. You know, it's a very impressive swim when you um, haven't done much long course swimming. 800 fr meter freestyle can be a very tough event. It's a very tough event anyway. So for Megan to get a lifetime best by almost seven seconds, very impressive. Congratulations to all eight ladies.